Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about the Australian dollar. We'll be talking about what the different coins look like, what materials they're made of, and we'll have a brief comparison with the New Zealand dollar. The coins of the Australian dollar were introduced on the 14th of February in 1966, though they did not include the $1 and $2 coins. They continued to use notes. It was produced by the Royal Australian Mint, and like all Commonwealth nations, all of the coins hold the portrait of the current reigning monarch, which is Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Australia and the Commonwealth. The coins were designed by Ian Rank Broadley and by the artist Jody Clark. Okay, so let's check out some of these Australian coins. As you can see, the coins include 50 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, one cent and two cent coins, as well as the later one and two dollar coins. The gold colored one and two dollar coins were introduced in the 1980s. In 1984, the one dollar coin replaced the one dollar banknote, and in 1988, the two dollar coin replaced the two dollar banknote. The one cent piece has a feather tail glider. The two cent piece has a frill necked lizard. The five cent piece has an echidna. The ten cent a superb lyre bird. The twenty cent piece a platypus. And the fifty cent piece the Australian coat of arms. The one and two cent pieces contained 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% tin. The one dollar coin has the iconic Australian kangaroo and the two dollar coin has the southern cross and an aboriginal man. The modern silver Australian coins are made of 75% copper and 25% nickel, an alloy called cupro nickel. Originally the silver coins consisted of a large amount of silver, around 80%, and the rest being made of copper. Though the designs have not changed since the 60s and for the one and two dollar pieces the 80s, the coins of the Australian dollar often have commemorative coins. For example, here are some 20 cent piece commemorative coins, and here are some 50 cent piece commemorative coins. You'll notice that the coins have Anzac and World War I and World War II symbolism. This is because World War I and World War II were very important for Australian national consciousness and are a key part of the Australian identity. And so you may have noticed the coat of arms at the beginning of the video. The coat of arms represents the Commonwealth of Australia and the shield represents the symbols of the six Australian states held up by the indigenous Australian animals, the kangaroo and the emu. Many people think that the Australian 50 cent piece is the largest in the world, however the French Polynesian 50 franc coin is in fact the largest. We will now take a look at the Australian dollar and compare it with the coins of the pre-2006 New Zealand dollar. The coins of the Australian dollar are very similar to the coins of the New Zealand dollar, both in terms of size and in terms of metal composition. You will probably also notice here on this close-up that the coins have different fonts. Both coins show iconic indigenous animals and important symbols of the creation of their nations. So the Australians have the coat of arms and the New Zealand has the Endeavour. The HMS Endeavour was the ship that Captain Cook made his first landfall in New Zealand. So you might be wondering what do I think of these coins? Well we compared the New Zealand coins to the Australian coins and as a New Zealander I can't help but like our coins, however the Australian coins are very beautiful and they are iconic and represent Australia. I think that the $1 coin and the 20 cent coin of the New Zealand dollar, both having the Kiwi, is a little bit silly. One of them could have the New Zealand coat of arms, 
which is lacking from our coins. However, if you notice, the Australian coin, the largest coin, has the Australian coat of arms on it, which is very nice. One thing that I think is interesting though, is that the Australians still retain their five cent piece, and they also retain the same currency, well rather the same coinage that they've had since 1966, excluding the one and two cent pieces, and the one two dollar coins. It's funny because in New Zealand we currently only have the 10 cent piece as our lowest denomination, which reflects in a way the difference between our currencies. The New Zealand dollar is worth less compared to the Australian dollar on the international market, and therefore it is worth less to the consumer and to businesses to have a 5 cent piece coin as we have to buy products from overseas and therefore prices are relatively high and therefore the five cent piece doesn't have much value in an economy which uses cards increasingly. Another comparison I've noticed is that both the Australian and the New Zealand dollar have one coin representing the indigenous people. So you might be wondering how I got my hands on all of these Australian coins. Well, some of them are from trips to Australia, but also many of them were collected when I was young, f when our coins were the same as Australian coins. So Australian coins would turn up in change from the bus and from dairies, and often you could actually use, actually always I think, you could actually use Australian coins in vending machines and in uh, tr parking meters. The funny thing about that though is that the Australian dollar has always been worth more than the New Zealand dollar so therefore you would actually be paying more if you're paying with Australian coins. However, there is no coin exchange system to be able to easily convert Australian coinage into New Zealand currency. And if you're wondering about the watch that I'm wearing, I'm wearing a G-Shock DW5600 MS 1D which has an inverted display and is fully blacked out for stealth. <laughs> In my upcoming videos we'll be talking about more coins as well as watches. I hope that this has been informative. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Peace.